welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the Clever Logger, including how to add a gateway, how to connect the gateway to the internet, how to add a logger, and how to configure reports. To set up, you will need the Ethernet cord, the power cord, the gateway, your logger sensor, and a computer. On your computer, start by opening your browser and go to the Clever Logger login page. This is linked below, it's cloud.cleverlogger.com. If you have an account already, log in or follow the steps to set up a new account. We will enter our email to log in, wait for our six digit code to be emailed to us, then enter it to log in. To add a gateway, click on Gateways in the top menu, then click the Add a Gateway button. Give your gateway a name, this should be something related to its location. Enter the ID and PIN for the gateway being used. This can be found on a sticker on the base of the unit. Offline alarms are triggered if the gateway loses its connection to the internet, for instance, in the case of a power failure. You can turn these on or off. We recommend leaving them on. Offline alarm delay. By setting a delay on the offline alarm, you give the internet connection a chance to rectify itself. Offline notification groups. These notification groups are the key concept for Cleverlogger. You can create as many notification groups as you like, or add as many people as you like to a single notification group. To create your first group, click the Add a New Group button. Choose Users to add to the group, and give the group a name, then click Save. These gateway settings can be adjusted at any time. Click the Add Gateway button to finish creating the gateway. Start by connecting the power supply to the gateway. The red power light will come on solid for about 30 seconds as the unit is booting up. It will then begin flashing to indicate the gateway is in discovery mode. Then plug one end of the ethernet cable into the gateway on the end of the device and the other end into an ethernet port. If the Ethernet cable is connected to a regular network, then the gateway will simply connect to the internet. Back on the computer now, click into Gateways. It will take a minute for the gateway to register, but you should see the last activity value change. The gateway is connected. The loggers are switched off when you receive them, so the first step is to turn them on. Press and hold the power button for five seconds until the in-use light comes on. The light will stay on for a few seconds and then it will go out. This is a little bit hard to see on the camera. After that, the light will flash once every 10 seconds to show you that the logger is on. After you first turn them on, it can take a couple of minutes for the loggers to appear on the devices list. To view back on your computer, select devices from the menu. To configure the logger, click on create location. Give the logger a name, for example, Vaccine Fridge. Then, if you like, add a description. Choose a logging interval. Five minutes is the default. Note that unlike other loggers, the logging interval does not affect the battery life of the logger. So, unless you have a specific reason for changing it, it's best to leave it at five minutes. Choose a temperature alarm range. If the logger detects temperatures outside of this range, it will notify you. An example of temperature ranges is for vaccine fridges, it should be between 2 and 8 degrees. And for food fridges and cool rooms, it should be from 0 to 5 degrees. Choose alarm delays. By setting a delay on the alarm, it gives a fridge a chance to come back into range after the door has been opened or new stock has been added. A common value for this setting is 15 minutes. 
It is possible to turn alarms off by setting no alarms. Choose a notification group for this logger. If needed, you can create a new notification group. Choose an offline notification delay. This is how long the Clever Logger will wait after the logger loses contact with the gateway. 10 to 15 minutes is a good value as this will give connection a chance to re-establish before notifying you. Select the notification groups for offline and low battery notifications. If needed, you can add a new group. On the final screen, review your settings and click on the Create button to save your new location. Reports are the keystone of Cleverlogger's success. No longer do you need to manually download data. Instead, reports are emailed directly to your inbox. You can create as many reports as you like. To start, choose Reports from the menu. We'll quickly show you how to set up recurring reports as well as download an instant report. Starting with recurring reports. Recurring reports are sent to you automatically on a schedule, for example, every week. To set up, click New Recurring Report. Select a report type. Min max shows the minimum and maximum temperatures each hour. Min max plus extremes shows the minimum and maximum temperatures each hour plus extra details about any breaches. This is the recommended setting. And all data shows all data. Select the report frequency between monthly. This is generated on the first of each month. Weekly, this is generated at midnight of the chosen day. And daily, this is generated at the chosen hour. If you would like to get twice daily reports, simply create a second daily report a different time. Next is locations. Click on the location to select it. Your selections will turn blue. Report recipients. Here you can choose who will receive the report. Only users will appear on this list. Add a report title. time zone and desired output format. If you would like, you can send a test email to the chosen recipients. Click save to save the report. And here's the test email complete with our selections. With a graph and a breakdown of the date, time and recorded temperature. At any time, you can also download and print the report from any time in the past. To do so, click New Instant Report. As with the recurring report, fill in the desired report type, reporting period, locations, recipients, if you would like, otherwise it can be downloaded, as well as title, time zone, and format. Select Generate Now to create the report and download to instantly download it. And then we have it, an in-depth report for our selected time frame in a matter of seconds. Easy. And that's how to set up a new Clever Logger system and configure reports. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.